X Men alert. X Men alert. X Men alert. Oh. Whoa. Wow. That's right. We just had a major X Class flare from Sunspot Region 131100, and that solar region has been getting busy with it. We've had quite a few solar flares and kernel mass ejections over the last 48 hours and Dr. Tamith Scove is letting us know we now have a NASA prediction model showing an Earth-directed solar storm that was launched early yesterday that will hit on Tuesday. And so expect things to keep on getting crazy here in 2022. Wild, wild, wild October. And let's see, like, I don't know, like 10 different YouTube channels in the truth community predicted that we would get this type of a solar cycle. NASA and NOAA predicted we would get this type of a solar cycle. And then like me and Scott McIntosh said, we would get a very strong solar cycle. And if you look here, September was a very strong month uh, with almost double the predicted values. And October has started out very, very strong. We may see the strongest solar activity month yet in 2022 or since cycle 25 started. You had major category four, Hurricane Ian hit Fort Myers hard, causing catastrophic damage and large loss of life. And I used to predict that if a storm was going to hit Crystal River, then about two weeks later, you would watch out for another hurricane and i got that wrong in 2019 when i guessed it but it seems like it may apply and so let's stay on hurricane watch hurricane guard for the next two weeks or so if you don't mind we definitely have an area here to watch it's got a 30 percent chance of development in the next five days and so yeah dude and you know we're gonna be on red alert for october because the uranus saturn square Oh, hey, Mercury just went direct. So go ahead and throw a party if you want. Yeah, the sun is definitely waking up and getting stronger. In my opinion, that is good news. Like I said, we've seen multiple M-class and now an actual X-class solar flare in the last 48 hours, which always brings me to the question of who is your favorite X-Men? I would say long shot, but that's a personal opinion. Yeah, definitely welcome to Rocktober 2022. I know a lot of people think that spooky season kicks off here, but I'm a paladin. And so sp spooky season doesn't usually affect me. Also, speaking of solar cycle 25, Sunwave is letting us know that AR3114 is the highest mid-latitude active region so far in this solar cycle. We are definitely on the lookout for any type of natural disasters this week or man-made ones. Here is a natural disaster. Here's a landslide that completely covers a lake. And this was in uh, somewhere in the world. I forget exactly where. And at a soccer game or a football game in Indonesia, 120 people died when people rioted during the game. Um, yeah, I don't know. I stopped watching sports when I started my YouTube channel. Although I did watch a Cowboys game with Coach and my mom last Sunday they won. Yeah, crazy days, dude. And AR3110 has definitely been putting on a show. Literally. And so, you know, when the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird. People get a little crazy. And then I kind of act like a fool. So if I act like a fool, now you know why. All right. I don't talk about politics much, but I'm going to do it now. I'm going to cover both sides. One, I don't know, Joe Biden, the current president, was like, hey, man. Would the senator, somebody please stand up in the audience? And that was awkward because that person he was calling for died a month ago. Which was, I guess, the senior moment. And then yesterday during a, uh, a rally, the ex-president, Donald Trump, accused the Democrats of cheating like dogs. And I was like, yo, bro, I don't know any dog in my life who's ever cheated at anything what is your weird deal with dogs man 
I don't know, man. Maybe his parents had the poster of the dogs playing poker in his room when he was a little baby, and that scared the shit out of him, and that's why he doesn't like dogs. I don't know, but I'm just saying, I ain't never seen a dog cheat at anything. In Void World War III news, uh, Russia's occupation is not going well. The whole war thing is not going well. Even the state media in Russia's started to say, like, hey, this whole thing ain't going well. And so the next month or two is really going to be kind of dangerous, you know, to see what he does next. And nobody really knows what he's going to do next, man. I highly recommend uh, peace treaties across the board. And someone said, hey, man, people who talk about peace, they work for the devil. I was like, what? Uh, A, Rome had peace for 200 years. Um, And so we can get back to peace on this planet in my lifetime. That's my goal. That you can be for peace and be a good human being, in my opinion. You can have a different opinion. Mexico has been very earthquakey. 5.5 5.5 today and Popocatépetl, one of the volcanoes down there has been popping off I admit I definitely have had and have a crush on Elvira forgive me Jesus speaking of solar activity Beetle Goose, one of the stars in the Orion system is now at 110% of its usual brightness it had dropped down to as low as like 75% of its usual brightness in 20. 20- 20 and 2021 and so stars you know they're like a box of chocolates you never know what they're gonna do but you get a basic range of what they can do i mean you know i think you know you kind of had an idea what chocolates you might get in the box anyway anthony Maselio is saying hey people in the northeast watch out it's gonna get nor'eastery with winds and possible rains and stuff and here we do that thing where we look at mixed precipitation over the last or over the projected next 48 hours and yeah you can see part of the northeast will be getting windy and rainy and then you get a storm system moving over the four corners it seems to be a lot of uh lightning out in the ocean oh i guess that wild wild landslide came from malaysia you're getting super duper abnormal fall heat fall in october in china and temperatures may go higher tomorrow talking about you wuhan and shanghai Hey, where have I heard Wuhan before? I've heard rumors that my dating life may pick up for the first time in a couple years in October. So that's exciting. Hey, crazy shit weather-wise, Ben Knoll, for who the bell tolls, is like, it's bound to be an interesting week in New Zealand as a lobe of Antarctic tropospheric polar vortex swipes the country. So you get rare... 100 degree temperatures in China, and now rare October snow possible in several centers, including Invercargill, Dunedin, Christchurch, and Wellington on Wednesday and Wednesday night. So yeah, Earth's like a snow globe, man. And it's like a McDLT where the hot side's hot and the cold side's cold and they kind of switch around. And, you know, and you got all the gas giants on the same side of the sun. So you never know what's going to happen next. Daniel Lacale is saying the Nord 2 pipeline seems to have stopped leaking. So that's good news. Christian Slater's nephew, Jonathan. Oh, I made that up. I don't know. It took 10 years for the photographer Marcel Guila base to capture these 48 colors of the moon. We live in a colorful solar system for sure. And even the moon has a lot of diversity. Hey, check it out, bang. You see that? Yeah, that's right. Now, like I said, the sun, this one sunspot's been extremely, incredibly active. But check out this gigantic super region over here. That looks interesting for sure. Here over at solarham.net, showing a good display of the X-class flare that just happened, and then a likely M-class flare. But yeah, it's definitely getting interesting. This could be the strongest solar cycle month of 25, and that we've seen in a couple years. As of right now, this solar cycle is stronger than the last one. Oh man, dating kind of scares me. Because I'm an honest, cool dude. You know, I don't know. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the sun. So everybody stay cool as we ease out of retrograde city. We had six planets retrograde. Now we only have five. I think Pluto goes direct next. And then Saturn. 
on this month, and then Mars goes retrograde. I think that's going to be a big deal, and hopefully we can get peace treaties across the board before Mars goes retrograde, because if you think war is hard when Mars is direct, war is definitely harder to pull off and offensive moves when Mars is retrograde. All right, stay cool. God bless everyone, and pretty please pray for peace and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And the awesomeness of your Thanksgiving and Christmas really starts with all your actions and activities now. All right, so let's have a great holiday season this year. We've earned it, in my opinion. You can have a different opinion. That's cool. Peace out. Peace up. Peace all around. Pretty please.